new problem. Uh, you're supposed to be wrapped. I'm snapped off under the center position. Uh, oil went from him in the hem and he tipped himself, lost the bail. Um, Uh, but look at the parts diagram, I would have thought that bit would have been removable, but it is not a separate part. So over I walk all the way down to that bell there, staring at the floor, found the fucking bit. So uh, I guess it's welding time again. Put him back together. He's been going for a while because, uh, yeah, he's been half wiggle wiggle every time, I guess. But plan of action anyway. Oh, let's fix the bloody thing. It's a clean as well. Balls. Balls. Well, I'm ever so sorry, but I fixed it up bloody fast. I didn't record it, but then two hours of break and I was back in the film bailing and the little things bloody lovely, really. Welded it back on. Um, yeah, welded it back on, welded the washer on the end to keep her on and well, Bob's your fucking uncle, a bit bodgy, but it's fucking on there. Um, We'll see you on the some hay instead. Uh, it's getting a bit late, but the weather tomorrow is shitter than that. So uh, we're going for it tonight. Not too wet, wind's blowing well. Um, yeah. Bell, Baylor, 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 well. No, what's this? All the fucking water. There we go. Let's go. Uh, Max. Can I put it in auto? I didn't put the bloody thing in auto. Auto. Magnetic. Magnetic. Table moves into position. So everything auto. Watch the symbol. Cut. Done. Open. Whee. Boop. Um, also, another news, we haven't used the clutch. Um, works a lot better than the old one did. Um, better when you got the right one. Um, yeah. Anyway, what's the symbols? That one with the cross. Oh, flashing knives to move them out without doing it properly on the bank. Just because I need to go back to some silage in a minute. But on the cross, it means the wrapper's turned off. Um, fucking dust. It was dust. But, shit, that's not fucking dust. Uh. Something's not right. Well, I just shit my fucking pants. I was pissing smoke out everywhere. Um, we had a fire down in this direction. It's out now. There. there was a lot of embers. <laughs> my fucking fire extinguisher. He's not got a lot of fucking squirt. Oh, he's fucking immediately empty. He puffed a bit. Oh, you can. Ha! Oh, yeah, I shit my fucking pads. It was smoking like fuck. All there. How to find why the... Um, I can't really find the culprit. Cut's still smoldering. That's warm. That is literally all I can think of. Warm that side. I can't even, literally, the only other thing is, oh, if I could set you up, can you see me? He's got a little bit of wiggle. But, uh, it's not hot, literally, cool, cool as a cucumber, burn your hand hot. And in the end, where the Baron is, cold, cold, cold. I literally think it's just set the cunt on fire by the sides of the baler being fucking hot. That mirror. Honest to God. Fucking hey. Honestly. Emergency shit the bell out the fucking back. Fuck the hay. So, um, after the fire, carried on, went bailing the next day. Um, couldn't work out. Had to keep filling the left hand side more than the right. Got the little indicator on the box. Left a bit, right a bit on the swath, fill this side more than the other. And it kept telling me to fill the left like hell. Yeah, bells are coming out. Left was tight, lovely. Right hand side was slack as hell. So I started thinking something ain't fucking right. So I started looking up 
That's the sensor for pressure on the door. Right hand one. Then left hand one. Started looking at them. No, couldn't see no problems. Fucked around with the plugs on them just to make sure that they were both in exactly the same spot. Then, while I was looking at that, scraped my arm on there. Sharp. Ah, what's going on there then? Shit a fucking bearing, didn't we? And when this is shut, that's there where the fucking fire was. So, yeah. Now I've got to figure out how the fuck take the pressure off. Whereas this is an endless belt. Um, pretty fucking tight because it's permanently tensioned on those girt springs. Endless, so there's no join, it's just continuous. Um, but yeah, got to have it open to access the bearing because when this is down, this is completely encased. That is down within that piece down there. Side's completely solid. So um, yeah, I was thinking, spent a while looking um, with it shut. I thought, I don't know, I could uh, put a loader on there, take the springs off. Amazingly, the spring is literally held on by a tiny 24 mil bolt there and that tiny bolt there. And that does like a fair amount of pressure on a bell. But um, yeah, now decided on, if I take the spring off like that, the belt will hold it up to stop it from falling. And then I can push it back and tie it maybe. Yeah. See what happens. But it's going to be fun getting that out. You can uh, probably see where he is. Compared to how much more that one's stuck down. And that's why it was telling me the bell was constantly one-sided, even though it was tight as hell. Um, yeah, yeah, and that's a little bit of a cutty issue. Might have to just get the burr off of there or something. Or he's been rubbing into the side there. there. Yeah, so we can fucking do. The dodgy removal of this spring, uh, it shot out farewell once I got the bolt out. I reckon I need some tension off on these bad boys. These are the springs that, like, Hold your tension on your sensor there. Um, it's a door latch. No, the door latch? Oh, it's a fucking door latch. Is it part of that? No. I think the door latch is on the other piece. But um, I reckon then this piece will come up. Yeah, sensors within. Undo them. That'll be safer. Because the amount that shot off a good half a foot. So if we take them off, hopefully we'll gain half a foot up here. And get some slack down there. So after a fucking significant amount of struggling, uh, used the squeezer and the hand to push that spring back in, bolted in back in, and went and picked up fancy fucking rod. Basically, threaded rod, if you buy a bale and new, it comes with it, but I had to go and pick this one up. One on the other side as well, threaded, bolt in the end, screw the fucker right up, compress, and belts are slack. Like, fuck for that. Next issue is all the slack wants to be up there instead of fucking down here, where I would like it, but I'm sure we can work around that. Slacker than it was anyway. Phew. The next job, I'll molt the fucking thing. But big thanks to Clive for. Uh... That is also another weird little bearing thing. He's actually kind of sat on that instead of there. See, this one's loose inside. This one's rubbing. Um, but no, big thanks to Clive for those bars, because fuck me, would I be stuck without them? Yeah. That'll catch fire. Another non-ideal thing, just realise he's rough as fuck. He's been rubbing on the cleaning fucking plate, hasn't he? You bastard. You bastard. 
difference is the height of technicality. You've got to take the battery off because the battery won't fit. Well, it's on the impact gun. One thing at a bloody time. <laughs> Suck it next. I'll try to get two of these slats out to access it better. Took the ball at the end, but still not easy. Um, as per usual, this is a fucking lot harder than it looks. Um, can't really see it, but up inside, there's a stop. Can you see it? Basically, it won't go up, which is what I was hoping to do. Um, can't go up, got to come down. Belt is in the fucking way. Um, ripped out all those slats. Still don't really have enough free play. The next sort of obvious thing I don't know is to... Uh, well, first off, I think I'm going to try lowering the door and hope, because there's a whole dose of slack back here uh, that I kind of would like over there. Um, up there, there's still slack. As much as I fucking heave and hoe on it, I can't get it to there. So hopefully if I let the door down a bit, That'll be lowest point, belt go down, but in failing that, the only other option I can see, if I can walk around in it without fucking breaking a leg, is take out all those slats and pulling that belt off both sides, straight line to there, fucking loads of room, pull the shit out. Um, yes, but I'm going to call it a night because fuck, I am knackered. That is a long way up. I'm... What, this is six foot from where I'm stood. That is eight, nearly. Um, yes. <laughs> this has dropped. It's not quite where it was. The bearing's still fucked. Um, but it's just not enough, really. The slack just wants to go back. <sighs> what a day. These belts, they look all right in some places. But some places they are fucked. I don't know how much more I can push them, to be honest. Hopefully they'll live this year. <laughs> but yeah, fucking bailers. I'll get there. Like I say, desperate measures would be take all those slats out through there, pull the fucking belt in, have slack all the way along here. No, my fucking luck, it'll all just end up up there. Because uh, this wasn't even tight earlier. Look at all that. It's just trying to get that slack over to there. It's not easy, it just wants to go back there because that's a lower point, I think. So first off, let's try dropping it, but I'll leave that for the morning because fuck, I'm knackered and I need a shit. Oh, finally, got the fucker out. Um, lowered the door, gained a little bit of slack from up there. Still ended up having to take a shitload of slats off to uh, get some fucking slack down there. I'm trying to jiggle her out. Fucking bastard. Also, end of the shaft. Not fucking ideal. Um, see if we can uh, weld up and lave down. Got a mate with a lave. So we can fucking do. Bastard. In there doesn't look overly great neither. I don't think there's meant to be a race in the middle. <laughs> not ideal, but I need to go bailing tomorrow, so parts ordering is not really an option. Look at the colour in there. It's fucking blue. Sheesh. She's toasty. Yeah, unrelated note, there's a dead rook in here and it keeps treading on it and the fucking thing squeaks when you tread on it. What the fuck? Honestly, I'm gonna crack the idea of uh, welding because it's so fucking thin. Like, the edge is thick, but the fucking in there is so paper thin, it's coming through. Let's do a crack. The fucker's gonna crack, isn't he? This piece is chipping off as it goes. There you go, look. I think it's fucked. R.I.P. Look, that's all just bits that are just chipping off as it's cooling. Let's 
and that. That. So I'm gonna have to go with new one tomorrow morning and put it all back together as fast as I can. So I'll go to the shaft though. Also, that isn't what I've welded. That is where I've welded the outside. It has burnt through because the fucking thing's so thin. <laughs> Blown holes in it in places too. Lovely. Time for a lathe. Any thanks? Last minute decision of change bearings in other roller and uh <laughs> Good plan, Batman. You fucked. Big thank you to Chris at CJ Cox for sorting that out on the lathe. Still a little pit here and there, but better than it fucking was. Most of it's all good. Look at that. It's professional. Yeah, uh slap this bitch back together. Minor issue, should have ordered a new spacer. Um, this one come off the other side. Uh, the one on the side where the bearing went is like nothing left. But I have a plan. Old bearings, stop off rents. Vic the old ball bearings. Good. Just need to slightly reduce the height and we'll be bodged up, ready to go. I reckon if I chop that top ring off and that ring, just have the raceway in the middle. That fucking dirt, look. Yeah. Bodge and overcome. That's like that new collar. Fucking A1. Beautiful. Fucking easy. Right, slap the other end on. We're ready to go back together. Invented the fucking wheel. Whee! Get an extra slat out, drop the fucking bolt. Well, I was looking for it. Jesus fucking Christ! That is a dent and a half. Can't see it on camera so much, but fucking that is dented badly. <laughs> fucking hell. Poor fucking Baylor. The rest of it's good, but fucking dunk. And now I'm confused. Got it up in. More fucking slats out to get the belt down enough. Um, but. Line them up. Try to lift. Both fucking sides come against that bit stuck out, which is where it's meant to sit against. So how the fuck? There's no like widening anything because this is all solid frame entirely. So how the fuck do I get it in? There's no that collar. Would that collar move back and the roller could come in? Maybe. I don't know, but it tapers out. I don't. I don't get it. It was easier when one was falling off the end. Does he hold his fucking size long enough? I just don't bloody know. True, that's so fucking rusty. Nothing's going to move on that, is it? Is that? Focus. Yeah, I'm a bit stumped. Uh, it's a bit the worst shaft to do because this one tapers. This one doesn't. That one doesn't. That one doesn't. Oh, fuck it. What a bastard. What a bastard. There we go. Um, just see, there you go. There's where the grub screw was. Hopefully. Get the roller on now and have enough fucking room to slide it on. This is a pain. Just a fucking hair of persuasion and a girl fucking smack up there and by fuck it went. Oh, thank fuck. That was tight as fuck. Oh, hit its slot. Fuck, that was like too tight, really. But fuck it. It's there now. Slap a bolt in. I've got to find the fucking bolt. Bolt? What do I do with the fucking bolt? It's in there somewhere. Fucking retarded. I took it out and put it up there. Oh, there she goes. Oh, thank fuck. Now it's just re slats on, took those tension bars out. And this fucking job done. Oh, I need to tighten that up as well. Oh, thank fuck for that. Oh, no, that's the sight you want to see. Fucking going back together. Fucking thank God. Sheesh. Whew. There we go. Just let off the red tensioners. Almost forgot to put the uh, cleaning plates in there, but just about remember what I have one fucking bar left out. 
and fuck it, does it? Oh, fucking lovely. Lovely tight belt. Phew. Beautiful. Just like that, she's fucking bailing again. Uh, done 51 silage bells and now onto some hay. Ah, beautiful, beautiful, look at that picture, beautiful, beautiful.